So today I want to talk about dystopias. There's a lot of them around lately in TV and film, but what exactly goes into them and what makes a dystopia a dystopia? I guess a good place to start would probably be a definition. Dystopia, a society characterised by human misery as squalor, oppression, disease and overcrowding from dictionary.com when I see the following three things in a book or film or TV series I think dystopia. So firstly it needs to be set in the future. Now I don't necessarily mean go to the end of the universe like Doctor Who did but maybe the next 50 years and there would be good enough. It just needs to be far enough in the future that we believe the technical advance has happened to allow that dystopian future to come to pass. Too close, say, in our lifetimes, and you know it's not going to happen because technological advances are nowhere near ready. But at a believable distance, then who knows what will happen. They also need to have a trigger, something to set them off, something to set these whole worlds into motion. That trigger could be a utopia, could be the brainchild of a genius scientist who thinks to do something slightly differently or to use this sort of technology to make the world a better place. So what actually is a utopia? Let's turn to my trusty little old decrepit dictionary and let's see what this has to say. Utopia, an imagined perfect place or state says the Little Oxford Dictionary. The trigger could also be a disease, or a lack of resource, could be a lack of food or a lack of water, which can cause a disease or something similar. Either way, those situations can kind of escalate, disease spreads much more quickly, and before you know it, you have a dystopian society. Of course, the trigger could also be war, or it could be rats, both of which do kind of cause what we said just now. Thing number three, is to have a totalitarian government in control. You have to have some kind of organisation or governmental body who's going to enforce these new ideas, these new reasons, and who's going to act like the punishments to ensure this future society, this future world, is upheld. Totalitarian government. A centralised government that does not tolerate parties of differing opinion and that exercises control over many aspects of life, says dictionary.com. I can't really give you a list of recommendations of dystopias to read without recommending The Hunger Games, the daddy of all of them. It's kind of brutal, very brutal, but it really is a must read for dystopian society. It has all that totalitarian government in there. You have to then read Catching Fire, which is very similar. Finish the series with Mockingjay. I wasn't such a huge fan of this one for the first incredibly popular book and I love it myself. It's Divergent, second one, Insurgent. And kind of continues the story where it quite follows on from Divergent quite nicely. Reviews of all those books are listed in the description below. And if you'd like to recommend any dystopian books that you think are particularly brilliant, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out.